What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I have a few clips to show you guys, so stick around. Bye. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. All right, we're back. Guys, I got a few clips to show you today. For those of you who are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button down there. I do all sorts of fishing videos. I do all sorts of educational fishing videos and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So if you, you're into that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button down there, hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I do a new video. All right, now that we got that out of the way, guys, for those of you who are not new to my channel, you may know already that I have a newborn at home. The wife went back to work. I got daddy daycare going on right now, and thank God she's actually sleeping right now, so this is a plus. I could try to get in some work. Well, that leads me to my next thing. When I do go out and fish, because my wife is working, I'm home with the baby, and we don't have the money for a babysitter right now, I can only go out and fish for a couple hours at a time when I find the free time to do it. So when I've been going out lately and doing a little bit of fishing, I've only got one catch here, one catch there, not enough to show you guys a full video. So I figure I'll sit down and I'll go over a couple of those catches right now and that way it's not completely wasted footage. You guys get to see the fish and, um, and I get to still put out a little bit of content for you guys. All right, guys, in this first clip, I'm fishing at Oneida Lake. Oneida Lake is a public lake with a lot of homes around it. So with that said, there isn't a lot of space for us bank anglers to fish the lake from the shore. This lake is fairly shallow with an average depth of 22 feet, and the shoreline in most places is also very shallow in sometimes inches of water. The state launches are few and far between, and then there's only a couple other few spots that aren't state launch spots where you could actually fish as a shore or bank angler. I fished different shore fishing spots, driving around the lake, um, and I fished for hours, hopping around from different spot to different spot. And I came up empty handed until I hit this other spot where I was at a local state launch, and it's actually the state launch where the Bassmaster events and everything launch from when they come to this lake. It's uh, got a lot of chunk rock, and it's one of the more deeper sections of the lake near any of the state launches. All right, so enough of me talking about it. Let's get to the clip. Boom. This swim bait is huge. It's not Huddleston huge, but I've got perch trying to school up with it. I mean, that's not a terrible sign, but there's no large mouth or small mouth to be had at the moment. It's all perch and panfish. And God, right at the bank. Oh my gosh. Nice. Right? Like a three and a half pounder gotta be. Wow. Working on him for a little while. He's been over here for a minute just cruising. Whew. Awesome. Nice fish. Yup. Here you go, bud. Cool. And we're back guys. All right, so that fish fell victim to the fat swing impact Kitech 4.8 bluegill flash swim bait with a 5 aught VMC belly weighted 3 8 ounce hook. And I caught that fish on a Lose American Hero combo with the 7 1 to 1 bait caster reel ratio. And I got that spooled up with a Berkeley big game 10 pound test bottle filament. Okay, and in this next clip, guys, I went out with a buddy, Joey, of mine. You'll be seeing him in a bunch more of my fishing videos. He's got a boat now, and he's been doing a lot of work to it. He really wants to get a little bit involved with this YouTube thing. 
and help me make a lot of these videos. So in this next clip, guys, we go out on my buddy's boat. He had just done a modification to it. He wanted to test something out and we only had an hour or two to fish tops before sun went down. So I took him over to a state launch that he hasn't been to on the lake and we went over to my honey hole. And it's a spot on the lake that's incredibly, incredibly shallow and it's not easy for a lot of boats to get there but we're just so lucky that he only has a 14 foot Grumman aluminum rowboat. His boat can fit back there so I took him back there and we went and tried to catch a few fish. Uh, the bass weren't in there as heavily as i seen before in the past so, um, but there was something lurking around. Check it out. Boom. Oh my god! Good one. Oh, what is that? Is that like a bullfin or something? Yep. Oh my god. Dude, we don't have the net. Oh, dude. Yep. I need my pliers. Where to put my pliers? Wow, that's a nice bowfin. Oh, I got my fish grips. Oh, he's gonna snap me off if he keeps... Decent bowfin, guys. Unfortunately, I hooked him in the eye, but that's a nice fish. I'm gonna let him go. The release, poor guy. He took my whole Kai Tech. Got a fish back here, guys. I haven't been back here in like two years. That is awesome. All right, we're back, guys. That fish was also caught on the Fat Swing Impact 4.8 Kai Tech swim bait. And if you guys can't tell, I really, really like that Kai Tech swim bait. Kai Tech, if you're watching, I don't know. That fish was also caught on my Lose American Hero with a Berkeley Big Game 10 pound test. I absolutely love that new rod and reel and I probably should do a video about it someday in the future here. All right guys, in this final clip, I'm in a farm retention pond down the road from my house. And I've fished there all the time when I was a kid, didn't do great when I was a kid there. It's, it's got a lot of depth to it but there's a lot of poison ivy all around overgrown on the banks and it's kind of hard to get to most of the water without a kayak or a vessel of some sort. I'm kind of cursed with this pond. Every time I go here, I usually come up empty handed, but there's been a few times where I've actually caught something at this pond and it's always a good quality sized fish. So I continue to go back there hoping I can do a little bit better, maybe figure a little more out like we always do. That's part of why we fish and I love it. I love the chase as well as the catch. Most of the fish I've caught at this pond have been on a spinner bait and today was actually something different. I was running a zoom horny toad and I have been starting to fish this toad in a different way. I slow down, I don't run it fully top water and I almost, I speed it up and stop it. So it buzzes across the top and stops and sinks a little bit. Buzzes across the top, stops and sinks a little bit. Or, or I've been just popping it across the water, giving it a little pop, pop, letting those little, the feet spin and turn a little bit of water, but then I stop it and let it sink a little bit. And pop, pop, stop it and let it sink a little bit. And I was doing that exact action when this fish hit. But enough of me talking your ear off, let's get to the clip. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, what a hit. Holy moly. I did not expect that, obviously. Can I bank flip this beast? Holy good lord. My frog is gone. Now that's a fish. Yes. Yes, that makes it worth it, guys. Lost the frog. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, that hook. That hook's really in there, isn't it? Good lord, guys. Small mouth, big body. That's the quality fish that are in this pond right here. This farm pond doesn't get hit very often. That is a, that is a nice three pounder. Yes, that is awesome. Fishing that frog in a new way that I haven't fished before. Just kind of pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Let it sink a little, pop it, let it sink a little. And that really triggered that bad boy right there to bite. That is awesome, guys. All right, let's get this fish back in the water. Here we go. All right, we're back. I love fishing at that pond for that reason and that reason only. It, I've lost a lot of baits there. I ha don't catch a lot of fish, but when I do, it's something awesome like that. So I was really excited that day. I only had an hour to fish and I made it happen. And thank you guys so much for watching. This is where I'm going to end the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Click the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I do a new video. I'm going to be doing all sorts more stuff. We got family that's offering to babysit my daughter so I can get out there and make videos. And that's great. I cannot be more excited about everything that's going on in life right now. I've got a little over 700 subscribers, maybe 800 by the time you guys watch this video. I love every last one of you. You guys are the best subscribers on YouTube. Super interactive in my comment section. And I love that. Thank you guys for watching my videos. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out the playlist I have right here full of fishing videos, or check out one of these two videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bang!